Hey, what's up, people? All right, the question. Can we fit four PCIe 1X cards into one PCIe 1X slot? Uh, uh, struggling noises. No, 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 not like that. With one of these. Now, I can already hear you saying, but there's already four PCIe 1X uh, slots on that card. Well, yes, but we're not going to just use this. We're also going to use this. Oh, and this thing, too. So here's my dilemma. What we are currently looking at is the inside of the uh, PC that I used to record most of these videos. And it's actually what's recording this video that you're watching uh, right now. And you can tell because you can see the uh, colors uh, flowing there through the uh, GPU. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. Underneath it, there's uh, two Elgato HD60 uh, PCIe cards. And then if we look underneath the uh, two Elgato cards, we can see that there is one PCIe 1X slot. Now, what I would normally have installed in that slot is this Avermedia M780 card. And this is what I've been using to capture uh, NTSC uh, RF, as well as uh, composite and uh, S video. And so this works fine for the most part. However, I would like to have more slots that I can put stuff in if I, you know, want to have a, a little bit of flexibility where I plug in things. And there actually is one more free PCIe 1X slot that's underneath the GPU. But because uh, the fact that it takes up about uh, two and a half slots, I don't have access to it. So what I would like to figure out today is if I can use that one PCIe 1X slot to install a total of four more uh, capture cards. Now, these uh, two HD60 uh, uh, cards, uh, they're both uh, single HDMI inputs. I have seen some cards that have up to uh, four HDMI inputs, and eventually I'd like to get around to uh, getting one of those. They're uh, a little bit out of my price range right now, but that would uh, alleviate at least one of the slots that I, I have uh, taken up. So yeah, we'll see about that in the future. For now, let's just test to see if this thing's gonna work. So here's how we're gonna go about testing this thing out. I had this uh, plank of uh, thin uh, plywood laying around. And as you can see, I sort of built a test jig on this end of it using some uh, angle aluminum, some all thread, some aluminum uh, hollow uh, rods. And so everything on here is pretty secure. I screwed the uh, four PCIe board down onto the plank. So everything should be uh, pretty good. I wanted to make sure everything was secure so that I don't accidentally uh, break something or end up damaging my PC, uh, making things worse for me in the process. So hopefully uh, this is uh, gonna be a, a good uh, sort of a test setup. And if we look at the back of this uh, assembly, we've got uh, three connectors. We see we've got a, a SATA power connector, what looks like a USB 3.0 connector. And then we've got a six pin uh, PCIe uh, power connector. So this USB port is, it's a USB connector, but it's not actually USB. What they're doing is that we take this uh, small card that's gonna plug into the PCIe 1X slot, and it's just taking the, the data lines and running it through that connector. And then that's where we're gonna use this uh, USB cable to connect this card to the four PCIe uh, slot board. So we're just gonna have something like that basically. And then this is gonna go inside the PC. And I have already have installed each one of these cards individually into the PC and made sure that the drivers uh, were installed and they were working. So if this works, hopefully everything should uh, come up right away in device manager. And I'm hoping that a PCIe has uh, got enough bandwidth that I could maybe run all four cards uh, capturing at the same time. All of these cards have hardware encoding built in. So I'm hoping that that kind of, you know, takes the load off of uh, transmitting data through uh, PCIe, uh, the One X. So we'll see if it works. We're going to uh, go down there again and plug this into the PC now and see what happens. And here we are. Things are gonna look and sound a little different now because the PC is not currently powered up, so it's not recording. I'm recording this on my phone. So I've got that PCIe to the USB connector uh, board, the, uh, the adapter installed. So we got the cable coming out and going into the card. Then I also have a, a PCIe a six pin connector there powering the, uh, the, the adapter. And that's necessary because uh, this thing is not powered up by the, that USB cord at all. So it needs some sort of external power to uh, run the uh, voltage uh, regulators that are on this board and for the cards. 
So uh, that should be ready to go. I'm about to hit the power button and I'm gonna be at the ready because I don't want this thing to pull a uh, Cheech and Chong on us and go up in smoke. So <laughs> here we go. I'm gonna hit the power button and assuming everything powers up, uh, I'll go into the PC and then we'll see if uh, it stuff shows up in uh, device manager. All right, here we go. Hitting the power button. And it's on. See, it got some blue LEDs on this board. So that seems like a good sign so far. And I don't see anything weird going on. So I think I'll stop recording and I'll go back up top, load up OBS and see what happens. Okay, here we are. We're back on the PC and I have not cheated and looked at um, device manager. I didn't see anything pop up about installing drivers. And I'm assuming that's because I already had everything pre-installed as I mentioned earlier. So here we go. We're going to find out together if this worked or not. So I'm going to open up device manager. And I need to bring it over to the other window, but I'm not looking at it. Here we go. All right, let's see. It's going to be under, let's see, the stuff should be under uh, da, 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 sound video and game controllers. <gasps> Holy crap, it worked. So there's the M791. There's the two 780s. Um, okay, the uh, the third one was not a a capture card. It was a uh, FireWire uh, adapter board or uh, interface. So it's yeah, even that showed up. <laughs> Holy crap, it worked. <laughs> All right, so now I want to set up OBS to capture. Basically, all it's going to be these three, the 791 and the 2780s. The I don't know if I'd be able to plug in a camera to the a FireWire port and capture video that way. I'll try that and see if that works. But as far as detecting all four cards, all four cards were detected. So things are looking pretty good so far. All right, people, check it out. So here's the setup. I've got an old uh, Canon uh, GL1 camera that's outputting video through the uh, FireWire port. And I was going to use this Sony uh, DSR45, uh, but it doesn't output any video on its own unless you got like a tape inside and I didn't want to bother getting a tape. So I just hooked up the, this camcorder. And if you look at the at the viewfinder, you can see that um, it, it's working. So I, I'm putting my hand in front of it, showing up on display. And then I've got a, a Sega Genesis and I'm outputting composite video from that. And then I've got my 3DO, I'm outputting S video from that. And then I've got an Atari 2600 and I'm outputting NTSC RF through that on channel three. And as far as all the cards underneath the uh, workbench go, I've got the M791. I have S video from the 3DO coming into that. On the one of the uh, M780s, I have the Atari hooked up to it through the uh, the, it's the TV input connection on the uh, second M780. I'm actually using this adapter that I've made that uh, inputs the composite video and audio through that connector on the board. So that's what the Sega Genesis is connected to. And then the uh, camcorder is going to the FireWire card. And uh, one quick little thing here that I kind of forgot to mention is this card, as you can see, has a uh, Molex uh, four pin power connector, but that's pretty much only used if you're going to be using the uh, firewire ports to uh, power stuff because it does have like a 12 volt a 12 volt pin that uh, can be used uh, for certain devices i'm not worried about it in this case because i'm just connecting this directly to the camcorder the camcorder powers itself so uh, this works fine and i also put a fan on top of the cards because they get pretty toasty so I just wanted to kind of keep them cool a little bit since they're not going to have any other uh, form of ventilation just sitting out like this uh, being tested. So uh, let's go back up and uh, I'll show you what's uh, going on in OBS. So check it out. I'm capturing all four devices at once. And unfortunately, I cannot capture the FireWire directly through OBS. So instead, I'm using a, a virtual dub window and I'm capturing that. And you can see I'm putting my hand in front of it right now. So... Uh, yeah, everything is working perfectly. The uh, top uh, left, that's the uh, Sega Genesis. And then to the right of it, then that's the uh, Atari 2600. And then we got the 3DO on the bottom left and obviously a uh, virtual dub. So <laughs> this freaking works. It works and it works pretty nice. Like there's no slowdowns that I can tell. CPU is barely even being stressed. It's on 
OBS, it's sitting at like 3.6%. So definitely not stressing out the system at all, running at 60 frames per second. And I, I'm pretty happy with this. I, I couldn't ask for like anything better. Now, do I actually expect to be capturing four things like this at once? I not really. I would think at maybe at the most, maybe two, and probably not even the FireWire stuff. And that's um, mo mo mostly I want the uh, FireWire for transferring over some like old, you know, home recordings uh, that I have on like uh, mini DVs. So, but I mean, at least uh, I don't have to uh, swap cards out to be able to uh, use this when I need it. It's just uh, it's going to be sitting there all the time. And then, you know, everything else uh, kind of works as intended as I've previously used it before. This worked pretty well. So what's next? Well, I'd like for it all to be sitting in its own dedicated enclosure along with its own dedicated power supply. Not this one necessarily. I don't think this one would be able to provide enough power. It's like a really old uh, little power supply, but something similar so that that way everything can sort of be uh, standalone. And I just need to have the data cable going from uh, this uh, the setup over to the uh, PC. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get around to uh, building anything anytime soon. I currently have another project. Uh, it's a uh, holiday lights controller that I'm working on that's like consuming all of my time for the foreseeable future. So, but at least I know that this will work. And yeah, I just uh, don't want to leave it on a, on a plank of um, a plywood. You know, I, I want something a little bit more maybe like enc encased in, you know, something metallic. So yeah, that's going to do it for this one. We answered the question. <laughs> it does work. So uh, thank you all for watching and I will see you guys around the bench.